Hi Bunny, it's me Fimo. I'm a huge fan and I just wanted to make um, a quick video response um, to your videos. Um, I love them all, I've watched basically them all I think. Um, I'm really sorry about the lighting on this video. Um, like, Oompa Loompa face. Like, Oompa Loompa Loompa Dee Dee. Oh look. Oh, I'm kind of normal now. Oh, SPF in my foundation, Why making me white. Um, sorry. Yeah, so like what I wanted to ask you was what would you wear to the zoo if you were on a date? I'm asking this because I am myself going on a date with my boyfriend tomorrow to the zoo and I don't know what to wear. What do you wear to the zoo? And I am in Scotland, so... Unlike you, who are so lucky to be in Texas and the friggin' 100 degree heat, I'm stuck here. Like, can you see that? Can you, can you see this grey, grey kind of horrible, depressing weather that gives everybody MS? Okay, that was a bit dramatic. But if we had more sun, we would get more vitamin B, D, D, we'd get more vitamin D and we'd live longer. Something, apparently in Iceland, something like that happens too. I can only apologise for the sheer of lack of professionality in this video and I think I just made up a word. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm asking Bunny is what would you wear um, to the zoo if you were going on a date with your boyfriend? Um, now... I don't really have anything that's a wonderful like you do in your wardrobe. Like, I can honestly say your wardrobe must be like the, 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 the prettiest dream wardrobe in the world. If I could, I would grab a plane and come to Texas and steal half your wardrobe. Although I'm pretty sure none of your clothes would fit me because I am six foot one and I have huge feet and weigh like 10 stone. So, like, none of your stuff would fit me because, like, you're, a, you're like, a beautiful, elegant, slinky lady and I'm just like, Hi, I'm a giant with ginger hair and no eyebrows. Come and be my friend. That's basically what I'm asking you. <laughs> what would you wear to the zoo if you were going on a date with your boyfriend? And can you be my friend? Can you? Can you? You know, you've got the swamp family. I've got the shire family. You know? We can make that a new thing. <gasps> Shire Swamp Family. Oh my god. I like this. I think I need to do something with this idea. I do. So, anyway, um, I'm so sorry, Bunny. I was actually wanting to sit and have a conversation and like ask you questions and stuff, but I've kind of gotten a bit excited and carried away, and I think it's because of the fact that I'm sitting here and it's like a, I think I'm actually talking to you when you're like probably asleep. Or drinking Chick Fil A, is that how you pronounce it? Chick Fil A, cause it kind of sounds like chicken. But I do love chicken, and I do love tea. Hmm. There's my dog. Where's my dog? Where where's my dog? I'm sorry. I'm just showing you shit. I oh mean, God, I'm swearing and everything. Here, have a look at my jumper. It's back to front. 1983, that's the year I was born. I'm so old. Um, yeah, I would really, really like a double syllable. Damn, that's my goal for tomorrow's date. That's what I'm asking. What would you wear to get that damn from your lovely, awesome boyfriend? Because I have to take my clothes off to get that sort of damn. No, only kidding, I don't. He loves me with my clothes on as well as my clothes off. Right, this is getting a bit weird. Um, yeah, so anything would, like, I would love it if you would just be, oh, come and dress me. See if we could. See if I raise enough funds, if I raise enough funds and get over to Texas and come and see you. Will you do me? Like, that sounded so bad. Will you do me? Will you give me a makeover? That's what I meant, you rude, rude people. I meant... Honey, 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 bunny, honey, bunny. Um, 
Yeah, I would love it if you could give me like a swamp, ma like a swamp makeover. How frigging amazing! Or we could do like the whole Shutter Island thing and just be like crazy and. Right, I'm gonna go before I actually like give myself an aneurysm. Um, a response would be fantastic. Um, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Fiona Morrison. It's spelled P-H-E-O-N-E, M-O-R-R-I-S-O-M. It's not the actual way you spell my name, but I wanted to try and be fancy. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram um, at Fimo23. Um, or I think it's Instagram forward slash Fimo Monster. Like one word, you know, like Fee Monsters, one word. Like F W -E M O N S T E R. Um, I'm hopefully going to be starting this YouTube account soon. Um, p basically, just because I want to talk to Graveyard Girl and um, have great conversations with her because I feel like our personalities would bounce off each other. Um, because you just make me happy, girl. You really do. Like, I'll wake up in the morning at 7 o'clock and the first thing I do is I'll go and watch um, a haul video or I'll watch a paranormal video. Oh my god, how creepy is that freaking bus? Um, you know, you're on my, like, you're on the top of my list to do in the morning, like, in the day is watch Bunny. So, yeah, um, I love you. I do. I think you're freaking awesome. And I'm not ashamed to admit it. And I'm setting up a YouTube channel just so I can talk to you. You are awesome, girl. Awesome. And um, I'll really look forward to your response if I get one. I'm sure I will, because you're awesome. And you don't let any of the Swamp family members down, because you're awesome. And I love you. And I'm going to go now, because I'm going crazy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I love faces. <laughs>